As if all of the pre-reveal leaks weren't enough, we've got another epic leak, and that is about the Switch UI. This comes from the indie studio Nicholas, makers of great games like Cave Story. They posted a tweet showing what is purported to be the Switch UI uh, housing Bunny of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus, Cave Story, and uh, 1001 Spikes, and it is the second shot now we have of the UI, and it is very much in line with what we saw in the press conference, the quick half-second glimpse uh, of the UI screen. This one, a dark motif instead of a light motif, but Jake and Gabe, I think this is the very clean, very modern, very phone-like Switch UI. What do you mean by phone-like? I think it's phone-like because it has uh, app-esque buttons and a, a very, you know, app-esque home screen. I'm assuming you can change the, the layout of these. I, maybe, maybe, maybe phone-like isn't correct. Maybe I should say 3DS-like because it reminds me of a polished version of the 3DS. Uh, I, I guess the phone aspect comes from a more modern techie look than the Wii U and Wii bubbly kid gamey look. Yeah. Or even the Vita look, which which had more of, has more of like a, a bubbly. <laughs> yeah, that would like literally bubbly. <laughs> literally bubbles, right? Yeah. Where this this is a much more clean. The reason I say phone is just like a like the headspace reminds me of like mobile design or something very polished. Um, and we have what looks to be you know uh, a chat on the bottom, uh, an eShop. Uh, screenshot wait, feature. Wait, what chat? The, the first one that looks like a notifications thing to me. He does. Okay, notifications. Because okay. yeah, because chat's on the phone yeah. on the actual phone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then eShop, screenshots, controller settings, system settings, power, and then you can see options, uh, change user, close software, and then the software bubbles above. I really like it. If this is what it if this is what it ends up being, which I don't see why it wouldn't be. I think this is a very classy way to go that's in line with the new build quality of the system that doesn't feel like a Wii U, but instead feels like a a modern, heavy, real classy system. All right, so the, the first one, right, notifications. We know, we know about the app coming in. Through the app is when you're going to do, like, party. That's how you're going to party up with people. That's how you're going to do voice chat and everything. So what are these notifications? Like, could it be that maybe... There is a trophy system because uh, on the notifications for PlayStation Four, you go to there and you you see like your achievements and a whole bunch of other stuff, really. Like right, and since I, so much of it is on the phone app, do we do we think that like what else could possibly be here in, uh, under notifications? Just like when something's finished downloading or something. Yeah, or updates or maybe like friend requests or something. Yeah, uh, I would I would imagine also you know how Nintendo even on the Wii U pushes. Uh, like, hey, there's a sale on this, or there, you know, for a limited time, you can download this demo. I, personally, you know, if we're going to group achievements and trophies into you, I, I don't give a crap about those anymore. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like that fate, fad has passed. Uh, at, at, at the time of Xbox 360, it was a very big deal to me, and I really did achievement hunt for a while, but it was because they meant something. Um, there were a 1,000 per game and a 100 per 200 per downloadable game, and it was very, like, organized. Now the fact that there's achievements for everything, you know, you got Steam achievements, and you got Xbox One achievements, but you also get achievements for, like, watching Netflix. Like, it has ballooned out to be something that, like, I don't care about at all anymore. So to me, that that means zilch. Same to me. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, Gabe. I was no, gonna go say ahead. same to me, but people still care. Like we don't care. Like I, I, I don't like like you. I used to try to get like every achievement in every game I played back in the day, but now I, I if this doesn't have like a, a trophy system at all, I'm a hundred percent okay with it. But it's something people want, so. I think if they found a way to tie in sort of like my Nintendo points, where you can maybe like earn rewards or move your way up a, a ladder towards. I don't know if their online system, say, had, I mean, this is this is pie in the sky thinking, but if their online system had tiers or something like that, you know, that would be really cool um, if if the achievements translated something. If it's merely a, a okay, you know what, if there, if there was a Nintendo score, I'd be about that just because Nintendo has never done that, and I'd love to show off, like, you did some crazy Mario trick, and, and so you get an achievement for it. Um, but I, knowing them, I don't think there's going to be anything of the sort. Are you sure it's not? Have they said that they're only doing like the online chat will only be through the mobile app because that yeah. really does look like a. They said it's exclusively through the mobile app. Well, I don't know if they said exclusively, like, but Reggie said, they said exclusively. I'm just wondering if they would have like doubled it up so that like you like if you were in a game and someone like like uh, sent you a message, you could just see it on there because that really does look like a messaging thing. 
know what I mean? Like, I suppose, like, having to have your phone sit next to you while you're playing the game just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, you have to put down the Switch and pick up your phone just to, like, respond to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like they would have it built into the system as well, Reggie, but maybe not. Reggie's reasoning for it is that since this is also meant to be, like, a portable thing, um, and you always have your phone with you, so, like... Uh, you can do game chat with someone like even if you're not like necessarily connected to the internet and you can just like tether the connection or something like that i think that's what reggie mm. had said something along those lines and and you know if the idea is that you'll be able to invite and match up with people based on social media accounts instead of friend codes or whatnot i think that you know can work in their yeah. favor but i'm just saying like once you have a friend like i think like they, they might double it up to where that is like a yeah I, I would hope right? there was some way to message them within you know the system ui um, eShop is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think we need to spend much time there. Click on it, go to the store. I, I would like it if the store looked like this as well, more of an App Store-esque uh, feel or a Steam feel as opposed to... The eShop is like fine to navigate now, but it still is, again, full of bubbles and prompts and awkward menu design. Um, so I, I like the fact that it looks like they're going for a simplified... You know, we no longer have Mii's, so you're not going to have like Miiverse and, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, have no that. Me, there's still Mii's. There's just no more Miiverse. Are, are you sure there's me's on this? I don't yeah, think yeah. That... Reggie said that there there is like a really? there is a uh, me creation app like on the on the switch. Really, it's just mm, no longer okay. meverse. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay, probably well, is it going to take the same spot as like the Microsoft no. avatars? Well, I'm yeah, just saying like it's I, like, like super backseat, like not important. Really. Yeah, yeah, probably that's what it seems. Because if you look at the top left, which is your uh, you know sort of user icon, it is a a Splatoon inkling uh, picture similar to PlayStation or Xbox. It's not like your me face, which I think is a step in the right direction. All of this is a step in the right direction. Um, and if the eShop resembles this clean design, then kudos to them. Uh, the third one, screenshots. You think that just you think that just houses your screenshots and eventually video? Yeah, yeah. probably it's like a photo library, yeah. Uh, maybe you some way also, to share them amongst your friends. Well, he confirmed that. He says that this, uh, at launch it's meant for you to like take screenshots and edit them. Like that, okay. th they have like these like filter things that you know, then you'll be able to share them to your social media accounts, uh, and then they said that video is coming eventually. It's just not at launch. Gotcha. Okay, and then controller settings probably to tweak things. Uh, check the battery, you know, resync or whatnot. Um, system settings and then power. Uh, one thing that I know you guys were debating before we even hit record. Do you think this is the actual home screen, or do you think this is an interstitial screen? Because it does say closed software, so you either this is the equivalent of the PlayStation cross media bar, and you can just you know close software if you want to you know close it, or this is the equivalent of sort of the press the home button on the 3ds uh, suspend screen. I yeah. think th I think well, even if this is the suspend screen, I think I feel like the home screen will be very similar, if not identical, to this. Um, I, I mean, I really like how clean and simple it is and not confusing or anything like that. I, I hope, mm, I was going to say, I hope that they let you, like, change the background at least something a little bit different so it's not just gray with tons of, like, the header space or white with tons of space at the top. Um, so you can put, like, some image back there. Um, but I think that if this is an overlay, that it's not going to be any different than the home screen. Yeah, I, I do think this is going to be the home screen. I, I would... I would expect there's some sort of animation or whatnot when you do boot it up. I don't think it's just going to be this black blank, you know, background. Um, but I do think if you look at the first image uh, that was shown during the presentation and this one, it is prime for you to buy, you know, backgrounds, moving wallpapers, things just in the same way that, that PS4 sells themes and whatnot. And I hope they do that because I... Personally, I like having the option to, to purchase that stuff. I think it's cool on the 3DS, and I don't see why they wouldn't bring that over to the Switch um, as sort of a way to customize the look and feel of your personal system. Yeah. Um, all that stuff is things that Sony has been doing for a while, and so has Microsoft. Uh, you can put an image of like any achievement that you get for Xbox. You can make that your background image. Uh, Sony, they have their theme shop where there's a lot of free ones and things like that. So, you know, it, it's something that Nintendo's competition has been doing for a long time, and I feel like this go-around, Nintendo's kind of playing catch-up a little bit, wh whether it be with the networking features and finally uh, having a network that, is a worth paying for because it isn't a cost money this time. Uh, so yeah, I, I would assume that you could put something else in that. I don't, I don't think that the black, the background has to stay like black or white the entire time. Yeah, I, I sure hope not. <laughs> that would be a little, a little odd. I do like the fact that with like these big, you know, almost box art style 
looks uh, for the games. And I think it begs the question now, do you guys plan on taking your Switch the digital route or the cartridge route? A little bit both? Yeah. (laughs) Why not? I've I've heard some people say, like, I don't want to carry these cartridges around. It's supposed to be portable. I'm like, dude, you can fit, like, 50 of them in your pocket. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not the type to, like, say, oh, I'm only doing digital or I'm only doing physical. Like, that just, like, limits you in so many ways, so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my my plan. I do plan on having a, a massive uh, micro SD ready for launch day, um, but I do quote unquote massive. Yes, because they don't make but them I, that big. Yeah, two fifty six, I guess. But, but they're so small I, that you could carry like two of them with you if you really needed yeah. to. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone is going to need or want some sort of case for this. I would imagine. No. Um. No. A case for the switch. Yeah. Hundred percent not. Don't e- don't even show me a case. I don't want to see that crap. Wow, you're, game. you're you're okay with the screen just? It doesn't have to. All... Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be like a full like like briefcase thing, but just at least like something like protect it a little bit and like have like slots for to like store like you know like four games when you travel or whatever. I think would be really nice. I, I think cases almost like, like an i almost like I, an iPhone case or something though. If I uh, well, to me, I was gonna compare it more to like an iPad case. I, I if I had an like I don't have an iPad anymore, but if I had one, I wouldn't put a case on it. Th- these things, well, those things. I don't know about the Switch. Uh, Zach can speak to that more than me right now. Like they're built, they're built to be durable. So like the whole screen, yeah. this whole screen protector thing, like I find it kind of comical. Like they're, I, I will, I'll definitely Gabe, want to do a screen. You have not lived but... with people who have destroyed their screens. Clearly, I know people that have dropped like iPads and iPhones like off like from like two feet and it shattered. So yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I the main reason I bought the Breath of the Wild special edition is so I could have the Sheikah Slate carrying case <laughs> <laughs> for for the system. But you know. Maybe it's just Nintendo art. Maybe it's just like the nostalgia in me. But I really think I'm going to go cartridge only so that I can have the boxes. Because like, as dumb as that sounds, I really want to display all them. And, you know, especially since we have a dedicated channel to the Switch, you know, we're going to have all the games. And so I think it would be a, a real cool thing to have them all there. And again, with a case, cartridges do get annoying, I guess. But if they're in between the Vita, like, flop and drop and the 3ds chunkers like i don't see how it's going to be an issue in any way shape or form and you're just as likely to lose one of those as you are to lose the memory card so you know personally it doesn't it doesn't bother me uh all that much anything else you notice about this ui that either piques your interest or or you don't like Mm. No, not really. And I mean, there's not really a lot to talk about. It's pretty simple. Yeah, like it, it, it's it looks like you said it looks nice and clean, and you know I like the look of it myself. So hopefully this does end up being what it looks like at least in the first iteration, because you know they can always change stuff. I know with the sure. with the Wii U we had the same UI forever that never changed. And but I do like that it looks like it's set up to be like almost like a touch, like more touch user friendly having like all the little icons at the bottom for like your thumbs to access and stuff like that and not putting stuff at the top at all um so i wonder how much if they you know like if it is 100 percent like touch like you can use touch or buttons or how they do that yeah i think that's a, a very apt point and i i assume that they will do some sort of direct highlighting the ui before the system comes out and maybe that's where they'll really uh you know tout the the touch features because nothing was touchable um at the switch event i saw people and heard of people trying to touch to see if anything would happen or hit the home button the home buttons were were made were rendered useless um they somehow like uh they just disabled them yeah yeah and (laughs) so there was no none of that able to even explore so i assume they're going to have some sort of direct or some sort of you know showcase to highlight all this stuff um one one thing i do want to ask you is what do you think the the bottom left little indicator is for i think it's just to show what mode you're using it in like if it's the on-screen mode tablet mode or like tabletop mode yeah I just I, like a confirmation I, yeah i have no idea i mean because this thing if it's docked you can't even see it so like i don't I don't know. What else would it be? Zach, what is yeah. your theory? I don't think it's anything yeah. of significance at I all. I mean, when it's docked, you're not going to see the screen. So it, 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 that that's why I was just asking. Because if you look at that, I mean, is it just showing you, like, hey, the controllers are attached or not? You think, like, the sides are just going to vanish when you <laughs> yeah. detect? I yeah, mean, like, I mean, it might, yeah, just, like, to kind of indicate that, like, nothing's, like, a jar out of place or anything. Like, you are using it in tablet mode just, like, as a reassurance. 
and then when you pull my them only off, gonna... my only thinking is is that indicating that it's being played and this is like a suspend screen ah it could be it's but possible. i don't that's a weird logo for a play but <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't know what else it's for unless like hey you're on the switch <laughs> like, yeah like they didn't want to put the switch logo I mean, there so they just felt like they needed something down there it might be mind. what control it might be what controller you're using like if you have like a pro controller connected like it'll show a pro controller or something but again what I'm saying is like you can't do we know it is pro controller compatible with tabletop mode oh, we think so right would they would they showed it on the trailer didn't they well, they showed the, the like, Joy-Con square, but I don't know if they showed... I don't remember if they showed the Pro Controller with... So it on. must be... Yeah, perhaps it does show something um, about control... Yeah, that could be, like, what controller you're using. Yeah, just, like, has it, so you know what you're... What's connected, synced up. Yeah, like... Or, or maybe it's also showing what all is synced to the system. So, for example, if you have more than two Joy-Con, like, so say you're playing multiplayer, perhaps it would pop more. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, I bet plenty it of shows room all for, like, four. Yeah, I bet that showed that shows all the controllers or all the players that are connected. Um, what's interesting, though, is, like, the, the first image we got has, like, these very, like, just random art, and then this clearly is box art. Um, so I, I'm assuming the reason that this was deleted is because this is the the actual versus the other one was more of a suggested yeah <laughs> okay critical question simple. similar sorry what what game or th like character are you are you hoping for your theme i'm gonna just go with link it's a big picture of his face yep. do you want like old link do you want wind waker link you want breath of the wild link you want breath of the wild charles link. martinet I, I, I really dresses like link? The, the character design of breath of the wild i really do so i would like a uh Baby Bowser with his paintbrush, like uh, painty paint stroke background with Baby Bowser on it as well. That'd be really cool. Okay, what about a? So you've got Yoshi and Birdo have this popsicle stand. Okay. And then you've got uh, the Fantos coming to steal the popsicles. You're and... obsessed with Fantos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I I would I would love a lot. I don't know. I want motion backgrounds. I'd love to see one where like. Either like Yoshi is chasing baby Mario crying or Mario is chasing Bowser or something like that. I think Just I think Bowser that would be like really blowing fire. Yeah, or like an like a Mario Maker one where it's like different Mario Maker stages and just Mario like going through the stages in the background. I don't know. There's there's so many options and so many possibilities. I think it's it's really really cool, uh, and I hope that they do dive into that. Uh, one thing that we can lastly address based on UI just to gauge you guys' opinions. Um, Nintendo announced that they will be launching this UI with no video app whatsoever. Uh, do you think that's hindering or damning in any way, or does it not really matter? I don't think it matters right now. Do you mean video app? Do you mean like Netflix or something, or do you mean like the screenshots and the video? Well, both. Oh. Right. So, so there will be no Netflix, no yeah. YouTube, what, no. What you don't have Hulu. like ten other ways to watch Netflix already? Like, I don't see why, <laughs> I don't see why that's a big deal. Like, uh, come on, that's silly. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just to put it all into one device, you have like a, a sole entertainment device that you carry with you as opposed to having this in a phone or lap, laptop or iPad or something. Mm. It's not, Yeah, it's not a huge deal, but I mean, the Wii U had it, it, it's really Netflix. <laughs> so, uh, Wii U yeah. didn't launch with Netflix, did it? I mean, the only reason I say that is because I think people, like, if you're at Best Buy, I think it's a nice thing to say to, to customers like oh yeah it's got and it has all your netflix hbo go like i just think that's in today's day and age people expect it and not that it's needed or even would be used but it to me it's just a knock against the system if it doesn't have it that i, I don't want people to even you know have a reason to complain i don't know i have this thing called logic zachary yeah, well, um, not a lot of people do, and so, with the battery life on this thing, you would not be watching very many movies. Yeah, go. like I, no, man. Like if I really want to watch Netflix, there's that. There, I have a Roku, I have an Amazon Fire thing, I have a PS4, I have an Xbox. You One, have a phone. I have a phone. I have a PC. Literally any of these other things can, can play Netflix. So I'm not that worried if the Switch doesn't have it. Now Nintendo just needs to put their Nintendo movies on here and like let you control them. So like Mario's trying to get Bowser, but you're like, no, 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 and you pull him back, and he can't, he can't quite make it there what <laughs> it's interactive movies okay right. so on, video the, games the future, the future of switch 
So video Interactive games. Interactive movies. Anyways, I love the UI. Uh, I'm really excited about it, and I think we all kind of agree on that. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below on what you think about the user interface, and if you like this new, clean, classy, mobile phone-esque style, and Nintendo replacing bubbles and uh, bursts of joy with class and squares. And still some bubbles on the bottom. Anyhow, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. For myself, Gabe, and Jake, that'll do it for our UI deep dive. Until next time, everybody, Switch Force out.